Ready? Sure. Go. Howdy. Welcome to a new episode of the Crawl USA podcast. I'm Scott. I'm Jason. I love sound effects. It really pleases me. Yeah, I don't know if um, they can hear it, though. I think only we can. Anyway, mm. let's talk about social media. Right, social media. Man, uh, I'm going to start this just a little bit. I think it's interesting, right? Uh, I came up with this topic a while ago, right? So a lot of things have changed since then. Uh, so I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Uh, let's see. All right. So the first thing I have here is what do you think are some of the right things to share on social media? Um, and I'm going to preface this as an off-road, Jeep, whatever the brand of vehicle you drive, uh, that type of account, an off-road account. Maybe not a professional off-road account, but still your off-road account. The main thing is you go take your Jeep, your, whatever your vehicle out wheeling, regardless of the type of wheeling, sand, rock, um, overlanding, whatever it is, that's what I'm talking about as far as your, your social media presence. So you're talking about conflating your OnlyFans account with your YouTube channel? kind of thing um no i'm just saying like look you may have a personal account that you post whatever you want on it and you may have a off-roading account that you per post your off-roading stuff on or maybe you have one account that you do both with mm -hmm. um well all i can give you is my opinion and i'm, I'm pretty opinionated on yeah this. let's hear your opinion so i have my off-road account and uh well whether it's uh, a platform like uh, facebook or instagram um and then i have a personal account right um and i don't mix the two right um for me if if i if i follow you on social media it's because um i'm interested in your feed whatever content you're putting Wait, on there and by you you mean which account well either one right if if, if it's a, a personal account or let's just say you're a, a fabricator right and i'm interested in fabrication okay off-road fabrication in particular i'm interested in uh, you know all kinds of metal work right because i'm uh, an aspiring uh, metal worker maybe right um but if i'm following you on your off-road account that's the content that i'm following you for right if it starts to turn into this soapbox for politics or you know anything else i i, I look at it it's just it's like you know you go to work in an office right there's certain things that you just leave out of that space you know just to keep the peace, right? Everybody's there for a specific reason. I'm on your off-road account for off-road content, right? Or vehicle content or whatever. Um, if it starts getting into some, you know, flat earth shit or something. How right? dare you flat earth shit, you round earth shitters. Wait. Right? I mean, you know, it, it can be a turn off, right? Like, you know, I might not unfollow you unless it's something really egregious and offensive. Um, but, you know, I've got enough garbage in my feed, you know, without the flat earth stuff. Right. So so what's so hard about setting up two accounts? Why can people not figure this I, out? I, I don't know. Standings? I don't know. I mean, it's it's the easiest thing, right? I mean, and, you know. Um, if you want to get mad at me about my personal views, it's not hard to find my personal account. Right. You know? And then you can and get mad at him on there. Right. Yeah. 
Um, but keep that shit out of the off-road one. Yeah. Right? Like I, I mean, we're, we're trying to build a community here, right? Right. Um, and I don't want to know your views. Your views may upset me. Well, you'd be with most people. They don't want to know my views. Right? Like <laughs> I don't want to know yours either, right? So, but, you know, I, I am interested in, you know, the trails you're running, the events you're doing. the Your build. Your build, all of that stuff, right? That's, that's cool. Talking about all that stuff is great. You know, right? You know, like, call, I learned call, something really cool this last weekend. Railing yeah. on your 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 sister or your girlfriend because she's sleeping with your boyfriend or whatever. Yeah, I don't. Oh, how do we get from your jeep to that? Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, you know, I don't need to know who you're railing, honestly. Um, Whoever you want to rail is up to you. So you know, that's 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 my personal opinion, right? I I I keep my political, religious, everything else. You know, I I, I try to keep that out of my off-road stuff because i assume that people are like me they they look at my content and if they find it interesting enough to follow me or they're reciprocating um that's kind of what they expect to see right because the reality is that you know if you're liking somebody's content or you're following them and vice versa your posts are just going to show up right when they're scrolling your shit's going to hit them in the face. All right, so my opinion is keep it uh, relevant to the reason you have that association in the first place. Yeah, yeah, you know, and there's tools out there. I don't know whether to unfollow them or mute them or whatever it is, but it doesn't please me when I got to see shit I don't want to see shit about. Yeah, and, you know, I usually just mute those accounts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying oh. to do that too. So, um, this is an interesting one, and I just learned something about it the other day. But what do you think? And again, this is in reference to the off-road community, um, in, uh, off-road accounts. I'll say, uh, people that just post and repost and share other people's stuff. Well, I I think it depends on. The motivation behind it. I think a lot of people do it to support other people. You know, um, hey, look, this is cool. You know, this person that uh, I follow posted this cool video of them. You know, on this trail, and so I, you know, if I repost it, it's to support that person. Some people, I guess, the ones you're alluding to are the ones that don't really generate any content on their own and they just repost other people's stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not very interesting, is it? You know what that gets you, though? I just learned this. The more reposts you do like that, the more it helps your account grow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you noticed? My shit's been reposting a lot lately. No. More than it's ever been. Um, I did not know that. Yeah, so I was really kind of upset about it before, but now I'm... Now you're on board. Now I'm taking it back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my, my views and opinions can change too. Um, right? If it helps grow your account and that's part of the part of the game, I mean, that's a little bit different, right? So Does that mean you're gonna have a barricade off road flag on your, your Jeep soon? I don't know what barricade off road is, but I'm gonna say well look, nobody rides for free. If it's on my <laughs> Jeep, uh, they need to be offering something. Um All right, so uh, I don't. I don't think it's a problem, right? I, don't, I mean, most of the people I see when they're doing it, they're you know, they're supporting somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I and I. I want to put this out there, right? If someone posts something, and it may not be your brand. For example, I'm not an Adams guy, right? But if you post something about Adams, I'm gonna like it. Because it helps you. It doesn't really do anything for Adams, right? Your post might have done something for Adams, right? But I'm liking your post, not the fact that you're with Adams. I'm supporting you, regardless of your bad decisions with whatever it may be, right? Or my bad decisions, right? I find it really interesting that if you have another brand that someone doesn't have, they don't like your post because it's not their brand. Hmm. But I don't own this brand, you don't own that brand. Who cares? I'm just doing it to support you. Yeah, I wasn't even um, aware that that was a, a thing. 
Oh, yeah. I'll be happy to give you some examples afterwards. Okay. Right? Um, but, uh, well, and just like I said on the, uh, you know, regarding the the brand ambassador thing, right, and the, and, and the sponsorships, take care of the people that take care of you, you know? It's, uh, it's a community. Yeah, yeah. It's a village. Sometimes it takes other villages to take care of a village. But sometimes one village burns another village down. And I only wish. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> um, as the social media presence has changed, um, and I'm, I don't know that it's really ever changed, right? I don't think it's changed in the history of advertising or what's popular or anything. But what about skin skin influencers? You know, it's really hard to um, be critical of somebody for, you know, doing what they want to do, um, using their gifts so to speak, right? If that's what they want to do, right? Um, and I think, you know, that that person, there's, I don't think there's any point in being judgmental or critical of that person. Um, the brands that go after that, you know, maybe. Is that who we should be judging? The brands? But then again, right? You're in the business of making money. Well, yeah, you know. The, I, if that skin influencer is you're drawing attention to your your product and it's kind of and that's been going on for forever forever right like i don't i mean i don't know how long forever okay forever right. I'm trying to think if there was a point but yeah um right forever it doesn't matter the 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 socially accepted at the time pretty person sells things right no, it's okay. Like it is. I mean, I buy things because of it. Well, in, I think it's like you know, people getting mad when they have to see posts about other people's stuff. When they get uh, one of these big chain pizzas, and like, oh, it's, this isn't real pizza. This doesn't taste like New York style pizza. This, you're like, well, it's not the same. Right. People that get mad about, well, it's, you know, they're not wheeling. They're not, they're not doing hard trails. They're not, you know, it's all bolt on stuff on their rig, whatever the critique is. So what, you know, if you get a frozen pizza at, at, at Albertsons, you know, you can't get mad that it doesn't taste like, you know, something you got from Hold on. First of all, I can get mad, and I will get mad. No, you you know it's a you frozen pizza. You can tell pizza. me I can't, but I will. Right? <laughs> so you can't get mad at um, you know a skin influencer account because it's fluff. You know, the only thing that's relevant is that there's a Jeep in it, right? Or or whatever. Put your flavor of ducks. off-road vehicle in there. Or ducks, right? You can't get mad at people. You know, here's the thing, right? We went to a thing. And some people put ducks on our Jeeps, right? I can't get mad at that because I, I, I'm watching through the window and I watched this family do this. And they were freaking delighted. They were so happy, right? It's just mom, dad, and their kids. And they're just, you know, how can you get mad at somebody for that, right? I'm not going to drive around with your duck on my Jeep, but, you know... More power to you. I you still know. have that duck. Do do what you want. Right? Yeah. Why, you know, life's short. Live it. If, you know, ducking is your thing, do it. Yeah. So, so there. There. There you go. You know, and if you want to, you know, expose yourself on uh, social media, right? It's a free world, man. What do you mean expose yourself? Like not trench the, coat? Not in the way you got arrested for. I'm talking about something else. <laughs> oh, first of all. 
<laughs> I've never been arrested. <laughs> I can't. I mean, you can prove that. It can be looked up. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> but back right. to back to the. What the... do you think about? I mean, I think it just probably builds brand awareness. But what do you think about like these teams uh, that just share? They're on the team, right? Let's let's just say, uh, like the Rockstar crew, right? Uh, they just post each other's stuff mm -hmm. back and forth, right? So one person does it, and then I don't know if they're told or that's an understanding or what, but they all go and repost all that. Yeah, well, we don't know the inner workings of that arrangement, right? Um, I mean, I've, I've told you stories. Years ago, I was... Uh, I was in a band. We were sponsored by the King of Beers. I won't tell you what brand that is, but look, if you don't know who the King of Beers is, um, and in the contract, man, I mean, there's some crazy language in that in that sponsorship, right? That said, you couldn't even have somebody else's beer in your refrigerator in your house. Wow, you know, which is insane, right? The KGB is going to show up and, you know, find not the king of beers, some other lesser beer. You mean the banquet beer? Maybe the banquet beer. Uh, or the high life? Maybe. Um, and, you know, what are, and, and you're, going to, you're going to get fired or get yelled at, you know. We got yelled at. We got... They found a Mickey's in a fridge? Assaulted. Because we played in a club oh. that didn't carry products by this particular uh, brand. Was it a classy place? Is that why? No, I, don't, I wouldn't go that far. But we didn't know, right? We just book a gig and we go play there. But they didn't carry any AB products. And I don't mean Aryan Brotherhood. I mean... The beer company um and we didn't know we were playing there and you know a, a rep from that company comes in and you know with one of our posters wads up throws it in a guy's face when we're up there playing you know and screaming at him and and we had to go and the corporate office and stand there on the the, the carpet like a bunch of kids in front of the principal you know, and get yelled at. And, no, you didn't. Did you really? Yeah, we did. So, you know. Wait, where was this corporate office? Um, it was a, a, a local chapter of the AB. <laughs> 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 um, so I, coming back to the original question. So I don't know what's, what's involved in that agreement, right? So if you're part of that team or that crew, who knows what kind of rules they have, you know? And if it's a, you know, a, a, a symbiotic relationship, if everybody's getting something out of it and it's right, then why wouldn't you, you know, follow the rules? If you want to be part of that group, right, if the rules are laid out and they're clear and, you know, you can do this and you can't do that, if you're cool with that, why not? Yeah, yeah, I mean... You know, I but, think that, but you're right. I've made the same observation. They do keep it pretty much within the team. Right. And, and to be, you know, like you said, we don't know what the, the contracts say. I think that's the important part. As we've learned through some of our, our stuff that we've done now, there's rules that we have to follow to do things. Yeah. Right. And, you know, they're, they're doing a great job of promoting the sport, promoting the community. They're, you know, they're doing these events that get a lot of people involved. Um, and I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's kind of what we're all trying to do is grow and support. Um, and run a little bit better event every time. Yeah. This, you know, this, this sport and get people involved, help them out, educate them, you know, and, um, the more the merrier, right? The more people we have out using public lands for off-roading and recreating, the more likely it is that those lands are going to stay open and available to what we do, right? And it's when we don't use it that, you know, places like this 
turn into cattle leases and, um, you know, hiking trails where you can't drive anymore. And don't cut new paths. Right. Take care of it. Right. So, okay. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, social media is a, I don't know, necessary evil. I think it's just is what it is. Yeah. I mean, it can be a tool. Right. Um, it can be, I mean, for a lot of people, it's just a, it's like a scrapbook, right? You're cataloging your, your photos, your events, right? Um, you're curating well, yeah, a, I think a, a chapter of your life, you know? For me, it's important, um, with the old Facebook, right? Um, I always put, when I'm at a concert, I always put a picture up where my wife does. Mm-hmm. Which is great because it's a scrapbook for me because I can't remember what one I went to when. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's really nice. I really like that feature of it. Um, you know, the Instagram has been great for you. You seem to remember exactly when we went and you just scroll to it and show us, hey, we did this here or there or whoever you're showing, whatever. I think you did it this past weekend. What were you looking up? Something. And you showed someone that we were doing it that way or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you're right. It's great for, for that kind of information. Um, you know, so, you know, and some people aren't into it at all. Right. I mean, a lot of the, the hardcore people, they don't, craziest thing ever. They don't care at all. Yeah. They don't do it at all. And And I wish they would. So I could see a little bit more of what they do. You can see the, the disappointment on their face when you take your phone out to take a photo on the trail. (laughs) (laughs) Those two guys, those rock buggies that we were watching hey i got a good video of you like so yeah they don't care i don't care and we're like man we made a really good video of you they don't care at all um all right but i like it i like seeing other people's stuff and i do too just don't cross the streams right like yeah fuck is that too much to ask yeah get a get a separate account for your crocheting and I'll still follow Probably. you on your separate account. Yeah. I just don't want to see it when I'm looking at rock crawling stuff. Like, I want to see it on my other account. So I can argue with you or whatever it is, but I can't do it with my off-road one, right? I mean, I got... Well, you know, it should be a, um, a friendly discussion environment right yeah yeah it makes it tough um man okay all right what else what else do you have on social media i think that's all i have before i say something i shouldn't i don't know what else to say Uh, it is a necessary evil you know if you're um trying to market yourself Right. If you're trying to, you know, build any kind of a brand, you got to be there. Yeah. So, um, you know, and it's it's a way for people to support each other, support the the businesses that they like um, or um, patronize. You know. Right. So follow us, like, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do all those things. Uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, leave us comments. Um, again, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, we have, what, 18 days till our next event? Yeah, Trail Heroes coming Ish. right up. So maybe this goes out before it. Maybe it goes out right after it. Um, if it goes out before and you see us, come say hi. Um, we'd love to say hi. Yeah, we'll be a Trail Hero. Let's, um, if we haven't met in person, let's, yeah. let's connect. Yeah, just tell us you saw us, whatever. Um, you might have to tell me what you drive and some things and it'll all click for me. Uh, but come say hi. That'd be great. We'll be out there. All All right. right. All right. Thanks everybody. See you later.